Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.21 from Sadiku book. So the question is calculate P0 in the op M circuit of figure 5.60. Okay, assuming this op M is an ideal op M, we need some properties to remember. That will also help us to solve this problem. So for an ideal op M, maybe let's draw the op M first. If we have an op M like this, and then when this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal, okay, and then if we have this as a node A and this is as a node B, the voltage uh, in those two terminal will be the same. So VA is equal to VB. And the current that goes into the op amp, let's name this as IA and another one as ID, that will equal to zero, both of them. So IA is equal to ID and that will equal to zero ampere. Okay, and then if we have a current that goes from the op amp like i see here i see is not the sum of i a and i b so that means that an op amp is not a kcl no okay and now let's see what can we get from the circuit from of the problem so this is our ground here so the voltage here will be zero volt okay and then this one is one volt from the ground so this is one right so this is one volt and if we name this node here as pa we will have pa is equal to one volt because of the first properties of an ideal op amp so let's write that so we will have pa is equal to one volt and then we can just use KCL at VA to find out P0 is, right? Now let's assume the direction of the current. This is going to the right and this goes into the op amp because we know that the current that goes into the op amp is equal to zero from the properties of the second one here. And then this current we are assuming that will be going out, okay? Now let's do KCL at node VA. KCL at node VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. And then the only current that goes in is here. But remember, this is 3 volt from the ground. So the voltage in this node will be. Three. So we will have 3 minus PA divided by 4, right? And then this current here is going out. So we will have that equal sign. This one will be 0 from the second properties of the ideal of M. And then this one here from the Ohm's law, we will have PA minus V0 divided by 10. Okay, now we can just plug PA is equal to 1. So I will have 3 minus 1 divided by 4. And that will equal to 0. I don't need to write it anymore because 0 is an additive identity. So we only have this one here. So I will have PA is 1 fourth. So I will have 1 minus V0 divided by 10. Okay, 3 minus 1 is 2. So I have 2 over 4. That will equal to 1 minus V0 divided by 10. We can cross multiply here. 2 multiplied by 10, that will be 20. And then 4 multiplied by 1, that will be 4. And then minus, we will have 4 V0. Okay, let's arrange this. So I will have 4 P0 is equal to 4 minus 20. So we will have 4 P0 
that will equal to minus 16. And we can divide both sides by 4. So we will have P0 is equal to minus 16 divided by 4. That will be minus 4. And the unit will be volt. And I think that is the final answer for this question. Okay, I think that's all for this problem. I will leave this video until 8 minutes for the AdSense, which have to get 8 minutes video. But you can leave now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.